Hey, be a squid and subscribe to my mediocrity. How's it going, my squids? Today we're going to be playing some more Outward, and we're going to go to Conflux Mountain and actually get our mana finally. I'm going to turn this character into a mage. I have some reservations about it, given the fact that I've turned my... Well, I didn't turn my other character into a mage. He's more of a warrior, but he has uh, spells, and I don't really like how they play out. It just... It feels like I like I keep saying, mage feels kind of like a, like a tool rather than a playstyle. Overall, like, you're still going to have to use your melee weapon, regardless like you like there is no like oh disregard your melee weapon it, like there's no such thing as doing that in this game you still have to at least have a melee weapon even to use it as like a catalyst to use like spells and whatnot you still have to maintain a melee weapon despite that being an unpopular opinion it is what it is you know you know play the game how you like it but I, for me when i think of a mage my main like idea for a mage is just spells only no like um there, there's no like melee involved there's nothing like that i want to be able to you know teleport around you know throw fireballs do this do that you know what i'm saying i don't want to ever have to rely solely on my um on my melee weapon or at least have to rely so much on it especially if i want to be a mage you know what i mean but that's just again it's not a big deal and it's not a deal breaker in any form or way it's just something that kind of is a little bit of a eh thing for me so whatever so in order to get to conflux mountain honestly you can take a variety of paths except for the one that i'm taking because i thought there was a pathway here and apparently there's not but you can pretty much just follow what like the road and not this one specifically but one of the other ones and it'll pretty much take you there you can head up this part i believe you can uh head out through the back we're gonna check that out here in a second but just follow the road towards like the like the east side on the other side of this mountain here and it'll, it'll take you right there you'll see this like purple field of garbage and that's where we want to head now i don't think it's a good idea to start out going through the heroic kingdom area i think we should go through the back way and just get mana just as easily as possible so that way we can move out of Sierzo because I think we've pretty much done most of the stuff in Sierzo uh, I didn't feel like doing a lot of the quests on camera just because they're pretty self-explanatory you know it's like uh, to destroy the troglodyte area and bring home the, the mushroom or whatever or the, it's, which basically the giant shield and then the other quest is uh, you have to create crystal powder for the lady which you just need like five mana crystals or something and you can basically just you know, the, the, again, that's self-explanatory. I shouldn't have to put that on camera for you guys. It's pretty easy. The other quest is go to Berg, which is where I want to go eventually, but we're not going to go there yet. We need to go over to the Hollowed Marsh just to kind of see what's going on over there. Honestly, we might actually skip the Hollowed Marsh because I've been over there a bunch of times, and, I, and, and Berg is just something that is way cooler in my personal opinion. So we're just going to head on over there eventually after we get... um after we get our mana. So here is Conflux Mountain right up there. So we just gonna need to kind of slide down this mountain here carefully. And then we're gonna try and head southbound. We wanna head to the south side of the mountain. We don't want to go to the to the east side of the mountain because that's the way to the heroic kingdom or whatever the fuck it's called. And that's where like a lot of the enemies are and a lot of puzzles are. And we just kind of wanna avoid that. All we wanna do is get mana as quickly as possible. But we're gonna follow this little trail here the, down this way and then we're gonna take Take a left and then the, the the door should be at the bottom of, or the base of the mountain. Now that I'm thinking about it, when it comes to the mage stuff, well, I, I'm probably going to have to head to the Hollowed Marsh because I think there's some mage gear over there that's pretty good that I may need to look into. So we might have to run down that way just to check it out. But God, I hate going to the Hollowed Marsh. It's such a, it's very easy to get lost in the Hollowed Marsh. You can follow like certain pathways and whatnot, but I've only been there like two, three times maybe. And it, it's, it never gets easier. The more times I run there, I still find myself having to backtrack track or having to just look around and whatnot and given the fact that well oh hey my map's fixed woo if you guys didn't watch any of my other videos there was a visual bug going on where th this map it would it would show sierzo's like in interior map and it would still like i'd be in a completely different area and it would still show the sierzo map but it would show the icons for like the wilderness and whatnot so it would make it very hard to navigate so where we're where we're going is down here where i think it's somewhere in this general area but we were heading down this way if you wanted to go to the heroic kingdom you would have to go somewhere up this way towards like the northeast-ish kind of side of the mountain and that's where the entrance is but we're gonna go to the door that's down here on the south side and here we are all right we are inside the mountain now so is there anything around in here that is actually useful i don't remember i don't think there is but 
Eh, it's fine. I don't think we need to worry. Oh, wait. No, let's check it out. Uh, let's see. Tattered attire. Yikes. Not a whole lot going on here. Uh, cool potion. Frost damage. We're going to leave that for now. Let's just go ahead and talk to homeboy and then get ready to go. So as he says here, that th if you want to get to the heart of the mountain, this is probably the quickest way, but also the most dangerous. I agree with this statement. So Listen uh, he's going to help us out. So let's just wait for him to get going. And then we will, uh, we will you know, fuck shit up. All right, so we've got three bogeys in here. I think what we're going to do is focus on this big boy right here and then get rid of him. And then it, the quicker we get rid of him, the better. Because he's the one that's going to be, like, debuffing us and whatnot. And that's, like, I don't want to deal with that whatsoever. So we're going to kill him right away. And then what we're going to do is deal with these guys, which this fucker... What? Jesus, he's, like, up on top of that, which is not great. All right, so we're going to try and save up homeboy here. Oh, God. Big damage. Jesus Christ. That's a lot. Um, we're we're going to have to be careful. Okay, there we go. Boom. Boom. Got him. And then we go for this guy. Boom. Boom. Easy. Easy. Okay. So, even though it is pretty dangerous, and that's like... Th this was the hardest part was dealing with that, but... Given the fact that I kind of have the halberd, which I highly recommend the halberd, boys. Like, if you guys are like, I need a good weapon, the fang halberd, plus the plus the ability that Barrick gives you. I, th I think is his name. It's the, it's the front dude in, in front of the gate. Uh, he basically will give you the, this ability that gives you this double swing, which does a dick load of damage. And it also breaks posture, so it's, it's you're able to get knockdowns and whatnot very easily. And if you combine it with the kick, just forget about it. You'll be able to knock down people people left and right now we do have a little bit of an issue over here because i know this is a flame troglodyte which we're gonna oh god it's a flame and a poison one Ooh, okay um i'm gonna go for it i'm just gonna go for the slap -oo, and then we're gonna just go for the kick which the, we got poison but uh we also have antidotes so we can kind of work our way around this i want to try and lure them over here so that way they can uh fight a homie over here and help us out yo come over here all right, there we go. Big boy's gonna come in here and slap him up. Yo, hit him up, baby. Yeah, there we go. What's up, big boy? Boom, boom, and then we kick him down. Oh, 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 damn. Oh, shit. Yo, big boy over here is fucking it up. All right. Okay, so we're pretty much safe at that point. Now, we need to find where the lever is. I think it's on the other side over here. Grab up this. All right. Now, we need to head on over to the other side. As you guys can see, there's some troglodytes over there, so we're gonna need to, uh... We're gonna need to work something out. All right, so we'll hit him with this, and then we'll hit him with the kick, and then we'll just go ahead and slap this guy. All right, he's down. Now we can focus on this guy, which he's gonna be easy because he's doing dumb shit. Look at that, look at that, look at that shit. Oh no, he stabbed us, oh, of course. Look at that, man, that is lame as fuck. He literally pressed a button right as I pressed a button. What the fuck? Uh-oh, there we go, dodge that. Oh my God, fucking, would you cut it out? There we go. Wait, am I poisoned? Oh, right, that guy has a fucking poison staff. I forgot about that. All right, we're going to head over to the last lever, and that should allow us to uh, to open up the gate, and we can go on through, and that should give us the mana that we need. What the fuck? Oh, well, there's just a random guy right here. All right. Just slash you. Boom. Unlucky, man. And there's another one right here. Didn't? All right, you guys are just coming out of the walls, I guess, or some shit. I don't know where you guys are coming from. Oh, there he goes. All right. Pretty sure the lever's over here, which there shouldn't be any enemies as far as I know, because I think they all walked out there for some fucking reason. Gate is open. I think there is a chest over here, and we can just grab whatever's in here and head on through. All right, we made it through, and now we're going to drop down here, and if I remember correctly, we have to go... What is this? Heroic Kingdom's Conflux Path. I don't think we... I don't think we go that way. Jeez, I still got to remember where the fuck I went. Did I go this way, or did I go that way? I have no fucking clue where the hell I went. Oh no, I think it's I think it's right over here. All right, here we go. We are at the mana spot. So what we have to do is head to the top part over there where you see that guy standing, and then we have to sacrifice health and stamina, I believe, in order to actually get mana, which I'm completely fine with. I'm going to go full mage on this character. Like I'm going 100% full mage. So what I'm going to do is, is sacrifice everything. I'm going full mage. I want to be able to make this as much of a mage character as I can. So I, I know people advise and they're like, yo, if you're going to start out with, you know, if to just start out and shit, you're going to have to, you know, take it slow and then ease into it. Fuck that. I'm going right away just so you guys can see where it's at. Okay, so that's uh, that's pretty much where we're at in that area. We don't need to do anything else. So we're going to exit the Cherenese and then move on out.
we are right here at Vendival Fortress, so we're going to have to take the road upwards in order to go back to Sierzo. Now, we need to go back to Sierzo because we need to get our spells and whatnot, and I also need to change around some stuff in order to, uh, you know, do this full mage stuff. So, we're going to just make our way back, and then I'll talk to you guys once we're back over there. All right, we're back in town. We're going to go ahead and check this trader and see what this person is selling right now. Uh, nothing too extravagant. Uh, these padded boots, though, I don't think I'm going to... Uh, I think I'm going to have to take... Uh, these boots over over these ones so i'm gonna hold on to them for now uh is there anything i need to sell yeah these i need to sell that i'm gonna sell this uh i'm gonna hold on to these because i'm pretty sure i'm gonna make a fang short sword here all right so before we do anything we need to head up here and check out our price because i'm pretty sure we're gonna need to check out how much we're gonna need in terms of money because i'm it's not gonna be cheap i know that much so these are the first spells that you're going to probably uh, acquire before you head on over to anywhere else. So we're going to talk to Eto here and we're going to see what we can get. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to grab up Elemental Discharge and then these two, which is going to cost us around like rough, like what, fucking 1200 for these two. And then it's going to be like 1800 So, and I also kind of want this just because this will give us extra, uh, extra health and stuff, which... That's fine, so let's go ahead and pick up the rest of our money. I, honestly, this is going to break the fuck out of me, but hey man, if you want to be a mage, that costs money, you know? If you want to be a warrior, you get to basically do that for free. You craft all your weapons, all your armor and whatnot. You got to pay for some abilities, but for overall, ultimately, it's going to just be way cheaper. Like, just the abilities are the most expensive part, but you can be a warrior without, like, spending any money, honestly. So we're going to grab up this uh, the, these fat stacks of cash right here, uh, which that puts us well over the walking limit here. So we need to move this over to the backpack. Oh, that is also fucking us. Yikes. Okay, uh, we're going to have to just make some changes around here. And uh, we're, we're, I think we're just going to have to put away a lot of stuff just to move because it's a lot of money. It, it, it's, it's really just a lot of money. I think the sad part about me having to spend roughly around 2,000 fucking silver is the fact that I'm going to have to try and make that back because what's going to happen is I'm going to move on to another place that has bigger and better spells, which is, is nice, but they're going to cost just as much as these, so I'm going to need roughly around another 2,000 silver in order to make this work, so that's not very great. Oh, I, I actually have to buy this. I didn't know that. Okay, that's one down. Now we got to buy this. Okay, well, I didn't I, I did not know that you could only get one or the other. I, I was completely unaware of that. Okay, I I think fire is better though. Oh, well, it's fine. All right, and then uh, That works. We're not gonna be using a shield because eventually we're going to end up using a staff at one point But for now we're gonna go with that now that left us with about 1400 silver So that's more than enough to go ahead and move on down here and make a, uh, a sword weapon for us because we're gonna have to go one-handed I believe actually I'm, I'm curious do I have to go one-handed let me uh let me see these abilities really quick oh I actually just remembered that in order to even use these I need to go get warm boon which we're gonna go do that next but we got mana so that's pretty much the conclusion of today's video we'll move on to the warm boon stuff after this and then we'll go ahead and build up our mage character slowly but for now we've got our mana we've got some spells so we're gonna go ahead and call it a day so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video I'll talk to you guys in the next one bye bye